Vampire Survivors looks like this. Vampire Survivors feels like this. It's a weird hybrid of Idle Clicker, Bullet Hell and Musou where your only goals are to kill and not be killed. Attacks are automated on individual cooldown timers. The only ways you directly interact with the game are movement and choosing upgrades whenever you level up. Seems rudimentary, but the sophistication comes from what tools you choose to aid you on your journey, how they interplay, and this is where the great joy of the game comes in. Because these weapons are incredible, ranging from spell slinging to axe hurling to stinking so badly of garlic that you disintegrate any hapless foe who gets all up in your grill. They form an extreme arsenal that feels like the most condensed form of power creep I've ever experienced in a game. Getting exponentially stronger and more lethal as you level up each individual component, eventually evolving through an intricate symbiosis with other weapons into something that can kill Dracula's hordes by the thousand. But it's not as simple as that. While the fists are lethal and the spirit willing, the flesh is spongy and prone to bruising. You are the absolute zenith of the idea of a glass cannon, a mere mortal with the power of the gods, and the clue is in the game's title. Your goal is not to seek out some big bad, it's to survive. Make it to 30 minutes and the big bad seeks out you. Is that the Grim Reaper? 30 minutes, eh? Doesn't seem like that much time, especially when you're effectively carpet bombing the walking dead, but time has a different meaning in this place. Countless moments I fell into a trance for what seemed like hours, but when I took a moment to catch my breath, I found mere minutes on the clock. This is not a passive gaming experience. Every second you are having to make dozens of micro decisions based on what is around you, understanding which enemies will die in a single hit and which ones don't. One of these two categories is a threat to you. The other is an opportunity to hoover up mountains of experience gems to make you into an even more efficient killing machine. It's the intensity of it, the constant pressure bearing down on you. No matter how many thousands of mobs you decimate, tens of thousands more take their place, and there is no relief. The game knows this. At a certain point, level ups grant you no new powers, instead giving you a choice between gold or delicious health restoring floor chicken. Your tactics change almost immediately, no longer about sucking up the scores of treasure left behind by your prey as quickly as possible, but leaving them for precise tactical moments when that resplendent Nando's hit is sorely needed. And sometimes, even then, it won't quite be enough. You will get swallowed up by an ocean of flesh, a storm of flailing limbs, eldritch horrors beyond the pale of man, and you will die. And then you go again. <laughs>